There is a dirty little secret that is widely known yet seldomly mentioned. Activists, for even the best of causes, deal in alarm. They are convinced that non-activists need to be shocked into activists. This belief is sometimes true. To this end, they will lie unapologetically. They will distort without any hesitation. And the least of all sins, simply omitting information which contextualizes and tempers their thesis, is something they practice with the universal, automatic regularity of breathing. I'm an activist, we have to get off oil and get on nuclear completely over the next 50 years, with the financial urgency of WW2. But I don't believe in the tactic that regards non-activists as too stupid for the truth. And the truth is that pollution all over the developed world has reduced sharply over the last 50 years. Air quality, national summary, US EPA. There is an exception, of course, with CO2. But CO2 is not a synthetic toxin, it is perfectly organic. If the global warming worst case scenario comes to pass, the natural world will adjust quite comfortably. It's human society and industry that will be destroyed. Human population will dwindle as crops and economies fail. Wildlife of all types will reclaim the places we abandon. Plant life will surge amidst a warmer, more CO2-rich world. Insects and herbivores will eat the plants, and so on. Runaway global warming is a catastrophe for humans. For other forms of life, it's a badly needed and perhaps overdue correction to a disruptive and invasive species called Homo sapiens.